I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fig or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Link up with the game I'm talking relationships Worth more than money <coughs> All right, dog. So look, got the recap. The recap. When bosses meet three, but before anything, I need all of y'all to go out there, subscribe, 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 like, comment, share. To relationships worth more than money, man. Y'all know who this is, man. I'm Tweezy. To my left, I got my brother Kadeem, and man, we just gonna chop it up about the whole extravagant event that we just um had over the weekend. Um what you how you feel about it, bro? Man, I don't know, man. I felt crazy about it over the past week. Um well first let me let me start by saying man uh one I appreciate you for for um coming through and, and doing the podcast. It kind of added just some extra sauce to the event that was kind of like unexpected. Um two I just want to give a shout out to everybody who came because, uh, man, everybody came, they showed out, act up. Uh, it was just a bomb event, man. But, and I've been, honestly, man, I've been feeling overwhelmed a little bit, man. Like, I didn't, it, like, you know how when you plan for something, you think it's going to go a certain way or what, what have you. But this time, like, I had it in my mind that it was going to go a certain way, but yeah. I didn't know it was going to go that good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was fire. I was like overwhelmed with excitement. You know what I mean? Like uh, it truly kind of just blew my mind, man. I'm just thankful that so many people uh, believed in what I presented to them because uh, it's hard to get people to kind of kind of believe in like the vision that you have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for so many people to to go out they way and um I had a couple of photographers I think one of the photographers that was there even like he canceled a photo shoot just to come to that joint and, and you know I just met him over social media so for people to be able to do that go out of their way to come I had people come from out of town all kind of stuff so um that just was a big blessing man so I'm 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 extremely happy I'm extremely blessed I'm proud, um, and I'm thankful for everybody that came, man. Yeah, so um, a lot of people, like, been looking. Of course, you know, we've been posting. Shout out, again, shout out to everybody. Photographers, videographers, yeah. creative director, uh, food vendor, Queek, Queek Cuisines, JJ, everybody that came. Um, I don't think people know exactly what When Bosses Meet is because they see it, and they just right. think, oh, it's a photo shoot. Nah. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> nah. Explain it, man. Yeah, so uh, w w uh, the Boss Meet is, 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 is an event uh, where photographers, models, videographers, content creators, business owners can all come together under one roof and be able to create content for social media purposes, uh, even if they're doing it for their website. Uh, they portfolios, all that good stuff, man. It's, it's just a place where everybody can come together, collab, uh, make some amazing content, use it to their advantage for whatever their business is, and um, be able to just just uh, do that and come together and not have to spend so much money. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I know a lot of these models paying for photographers, man, like myself, like the prices um, are not, as cheap as they used to be, mm -hmm. and uh, vice versa. Like sometimes, uh, photographers want to work with certain models and stuff like that, and what they charge isn't feasible for their pockets. You know what I mean? So it's just one big collaboration where everybody can get together, create content, and you don't have to spend so much money doing it, man. And uh, it's a networking event, um, also, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of the best things about it. And it, it just gives everybody a boost that, that they really need sometimes, especially the people that's kind of struggling to figure out social media and stuff right. like that. When you come to one of the boss meets, like, everybody collabs together. Then that push after the event, like we was just talking about before the camera cut on, um, 
that push after the event kind of just increases everybody's yeah, engagement, and it, man. It explodes your you engagement. You know, so that's what it's about, man. Just getting together and just producing some now, some ama- amazing content. How how did you come about when bosses meet? Because, bro, we, our minds are creative minds just flowing every day. We always got ideas that we come up with. Mm-hmm. Me and you shooting ideas to each other. Like, yeah. how did this come about? Man, honestly, when I first, like, when me and you was doing uh, Semper Fresh real heavy, um, I was kind of just peeping a lot of stuff that was going on. And then when I picked up the camera because of Semper Fresh, um, I just started thinking, like, one, I was spending money doing everything, you know what I mean? And then that time when we paid that photographer and we didn't like the results and stuff like that. Uh, that's when it first started clicking in my head. Like, man, I want to do something where people don't have to pay so much mm-hmm. and they can get some good content out of it. And then I ended up going to a uh, street meet. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Street Meet DC. Yeah, that, that was yeah. Dope. I think so, we went to the first. I went to the first one. I think you? that was one of the yeah. first ones that that we went to. So um, I went to the street meet, and I thought that was uh, very amazing. But then I was thinking to myself. Like a few weeks later, I saw another one. I think it's like Portrait Meet DC or mm-hmm. something like that. And I was like, man, everybody doing this stuff outdoors. Like um, sometimes, a lot of times in the DMV, the weather is crazy and it changes. Bipolar. Yeah, yep. <laughs> bipolar, bipolar and it changes so quick. Yeah. And then a lot of times it's too hot. The models be sweating, uh, stuff like that. Sometimes it's too cold. People don't want to come out. So I was like, man, I want to do something where everybody can come together indoors and just kind of enjoy working with each other and networking and collabing. And so that's just kind of how it all came about uh, from that first street meet that we went to. Okay. Now, other question. How how do you choose the locations? Uh, man, that's the hard part. Uh, so I, at first I started off trying to trying to use Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the issue I was facing with Airbnb was um, they wasn't allowing more than like 10 to 15 guests. You know what I'm saying? So, and for the, for the boss meets, like I wanted to be um, at minimum, like a 25, you know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? So then I started looking into peer space, which is where I held the first two uh, when bosses meets right. events, uh, so that that was awesome. And then this last one, um, the um, um, JJ, our event sponsor, uh, he found one on. Dang, he gonna be. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. It's mm-hmm. like home. I think it's like home studio dot com mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. So it's just like peer space, but it's for like homeowners that want to rent their homes out right. and allow people to have like parties, engagements and stuff like right. that. So that's where we found this one at. That's and fine. yeah, so but peer space is, is has been the main spot and then uh we use home studio and and hopefully on this next one, um just telling JJ the other day, like we we trying to look into getting a mansion. That we can use, and that's gonna be crazy. (laughs) That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, um, so we got we got the why I started. We got how you select the the locations. The third thing is for people that's been, I know people been watching, people been asking, how can they get into these uh events? Uh well, first, uh the main thing they can do is follow me. Uh, shop, shop by the shop by underscore the boss. boss. Uh, follow me on Instagram because uh, I, I always post about the events. I try to po- I try to start posting about it at least a month and a half, two months ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, anytime you see me posting about it, all you got to do is just shoot me a DM. I'm always explaining everything when I when I post about the events. Um, and I always let people know this is how it's going to work. Yeah. This is how you can contact me. This is how you can uh, get on the list to get in. So mm-hmm. uh, just follow my social media, uh, especially my story. So yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah, man. This this These events, man, like, if if you're an introvert, if you're an extrovert, but mainly the introverts, I yeah. think this, is, this brings the extrovert out of you. Yeah, you know what I, I think mean? it does. Because I think we even seen that with a couple of people yeah, that was there. Because like yeah. um, some of them came in and they were like, "Oh, 
People yeah. already dressed. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what do I do? Where do I go change? Yeah. But it, the extroverts were the ones that was like, oh, this would be a dope spot. Yeah. Like nobody, I never thought somebody would be shooting in a laundry room. Mm-hmm. But every room <laughs> was had, decorated. Was decorated. Yeah. It had some type of ambiance to it, man, that it was like, oh, this is going to be a fire shoot. This is going to be the fire shoot. And that's the dope part about it is like, everybody didn't know each other. Yeah, for I sure. I can count on one hand how many people I knew in there. Yeah. And the other people that I met there were either, you know, of course, civilians or Marines or mm-hmm. military. Yeah. I thought it was dope, but the, that's the whole thing, bro. It's yeah. like, it doesn't matter. Like what type of person What you type are. of person, yeah. what color you are, don't matter. Like, nah. come, let's have some fellowship and let's, let's network. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Let's work. Yep. Oh, you do this on the side? Oh, bet. Oh, uh, you need music? Oh, I produce. You yeah. know what I mean? And oh, then you... we also had we also had the creative director there, yeah. uh, my homegirl Erica, man. Shout she out to Erica. she did a f- phenomenal job. Um, follow her on Instagram too, uh, uh I Bang. Yeah. Uh so she she did a phenomenal job working with the ladies and making them feel comfortable and stuff like that. And uh yeah, man, anybody's anybody's welcome. And the atmosphere is always so dope because right. I try to invite people um, that I know for sure are good people and, and that have got a good head on their shoulders and it's not going to tear up nobody's place or right. nothing like that. Right. <laughs> so, but everybody made everybody feel comfortable and that's the main spot. And, and the, the main the, part. The lady was Jewel Marlowe, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely Shout out follow to Jewel her. Marlo. Follow Jewel Marlo. I looked at her page. She got over Amazing. 40K. Yep. Um, Followers and she really does do the interior design. Yeah, the she interior don't play, decorating. She don't she play is around. Nasty with it. Yeah, she's so, super good. Yeah, I seen on her page she had like um, you know how we go to like uh um sneaker con and and yeah. um Nam for like music. Mm-hmm. They had like a con, I don't know what it was actually called, but it was like for home decorating. Yep. And she was like interviewing mm-hmm. and talking to a lot of different people that was big names. Yep. I think I was like, yeah, this this is super dope for um us to find you know what was crazy about her as well, or about the the place, her place that we was in. Uh, so all of that stuff that was in the majority of everything that was in there, like especially like all of the chandeliers, mm-hmm. um, all of the the lamps, the lighting, and all of that, all of that stuff is is donated to her because of how good she does yeah. her job. Super so a fine. lot of these big businesses donate different things to her so she can present it to the public and kind of, you know, grow their business, right. kind of like ambassador work. So all yeah. of that stuff was donated to her, which is even more all dope. All work paying off. And, yep. that, and that's the thing, man, is it's, for everybody that's out there, it's like you got to you gotta start somewhere. You got to start from the bottom and work your way up. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And I think with the... Uh, the models, the videographers, the photographers, everybody, you starting somewhere and why not start with us? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah, sure. that when bosses meet, it it's it's a it's a it's a capstone. I feel like it is. Yeah. It's, it's a capstone for whatever you need to get to, however you need to get there, it's a capstone because somebody's in there has the um authority and position yeah. to let you level up. You know yeah. what I mean? And Man, I'm just when bosses meet four. That job gonna be crazy. <laughs> crazy. You know, it's it's funny you say that too. That was that was something that that really made me feel good. I was telling my wife about it. Like that's that's one thing that really made me feel good about the event is walking around and I was hearing those conversations, um, especially the ladies that was there of them, like, oh, you do this. Like, I didn't know you do this. Like, blah, 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 blah. I've been trying to reach this person. I've been yep. trying to do this. And then I heard, uh, I even heard one conversation with a group of ladies talking about um, 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 real, real estate and mm-hmm. stuff like that and yeah. how to save money and, and yeah. all of that. So, and in the future, like, as I go further with the event, one of the big things that I want to hit on too is actually having kind of workshops at the event when we get bigger spaces kind of like when I used to go with you to uh, the events that you go to for your music you know and they used to have those rooms where you can go in there and Mm -hmm. network with an amazing producer and stuff like that you know what I mean yeah yeah, so hopefully I can get some extremely good photographers in the building that could do some workshops teach teach a couple classes about Premiere Pro or Photoshop or 
or Lightroom and stuff like that. And yeah. and even with the models, have a certain room where we get some really good models in there and that can kind of teach some posing, uh, way to pose, way to way to walk and things like that. So it's, it's definitely going to keep building. And I got a lot of things in my mind that, that I'm working on and, and hopefully it can yeah. come... Uh, can come to, come into play. Yeah, it definitely will, man. Um, cause like like JJ said, the six degrees of separation, man. Somebody knows somebody. It's and the way yeah, we, that's a good way to put it. The huh? way we keeping the the uh the recycling, we're recycling knowledge to everybody, and it's mm-hmm. going around in a circle, and everybody's putting in their knowledge, and it's getting bigger. Yep. You know what I mean? It's expanding, and I think um networking, man. Yeah, everything, everything. Uh, matter of fact. Rod asked me a question, and I'm going to ask you the same thing. Do you think that the Marine Corps helped um, you with your creativity, and did you, do you think it helped uh, handle situations outside of the Marine Corps, now that you were, you're a civilian? You're a civilian? Man, 100%. Uh, remember our first deployment to Iraq, and we was, <laughs> and uh, it used to be so hot out there. We used to put the water bottle inside of a wet sock. And the sock. Tied up on the bottom of the truck because that was the only place that was shady. Yeah. And that's how we would drink cool water, water out water there, you know? Yeah, put that tied up on the mirror. Tied up on the mirror. But a lot of them things that we experienced in the Marine Corps from being bored, from, uh, from not having a lot of... Uh, material and products where we can ex- access it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that creativity came from the Marine Corps for Adaptation. sure. A lot. And yeah. being able to adapt in yep. any any place. Uh so but yeah um even with the with, even with the works uh even on the job uh these civilian jobs like I didn't realize how much the military prepares you for uh, getting one of these really good civilian jobs, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Whether it be government, whether it be contract work, whatever, man. Because in the military, you do so many different things within your MOS, and it prepares you for almost anything Everything. when you to the, when you step into the civilian yep. world. You you got a full, you just got a full bundle of experience and expertise in so yeah. many different areas. So most definitely, one hundred percent. It's like them bundle packs, like we've been we've been getting for like <laughs> yeah. you know I me mean? for either music or, or yeah. video and photography. It bro. is a bundle pack yeah, for cause, sure because it's definitely man. And and the dope part about that I've learned from you, man, is is uh this this thing that we doing is the same thing. Mm-hmm. It just has a focal point that it, it keys on, i.e., photography, videography. It's it's the, the the picture, like what can you bring out of the picture, mm-hmm. right? It's it's focusing on the the picture, same thing, mm-hmm. but it's it's the actual artist that's painting the picture because as a producer, we're painting one picture on what we think it's going to look like, but you need that artist. To, to put their overlay on it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of like the same thing. And, and I was just thinking about that, like, because, man, you was, you was asking me questions every time about music, and he was like, bro, this joint seemed like the same kind of concept. Yeah. And it is. It is. And, and when, you, when you put them together, it's like, man, it's like, you unstoppable. We got music. We got photography. Mm-hmm. We got video. We got podcasts. Like, like what else do you need? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like we got it all. It's a one stop shop, and um, I think it's it's super dope, man. Because like I seen you take what we learned from the Marine Corps, we put it into our business with the clothing. Mm-hmm. Then we put it into our own individual things that we love to do. And like, and it was crazy because I never forget that day, bro. We was in that shoot convention. And she she was messing it all up, just bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And then when we seen the out the outcome, oh man, the photos, photos was terrible, man. I'm like, yo. And it's like you just automatically took into all right. Yeah, I didn't let somebody. I delegated. That. We didn't delegate. You delegated. Now it's time to just take control. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And that's where adapting comes from. Yeah, it's that push pull effect, man. And you're right, man. We definitely 
took everything from the Marine Corps and our families, you know what I'm saying, and just turned it into our way of, of, of maneuvering and movement. Right. And um, I think that's the dope part of this whole event and the way we, we move in life, man. And everything at the event is positive. Yeah, man. There's never any negatives. Never. never. Anything. Haven't had not one negative, uh, and yeah. that's that's pretty cool too, man. That's yeah. something that I'm I'm proud to say so far, and I hope it continues to be that way. Yeah, no disrespect, no no nothing, man. Because yep. we don't have security, but I'm thinking a lot of us yeah. that were in the military, <laughs> so I don't, I don't think you want to do that. But yep. uh, yeah, man, and shot. What I I just want to give a shout out to the troves. <laughs> Cause I, I had a troll. You get yeah, more than me. I, I had a but couple. I, I had a troll I already a couple, yeah, trying to couple. go at Nina and, and her friends on her post yeah. about the women in the Marine Corps. And yeah. I was like, yo, you sound retarded. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. You did four years if you didn't or not. Four years in the Marine Corps and four years in any military branch. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. But you got us, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Some 14, some 20, however, however long they've been in. Yeah. So that experience, you might not have seen it because yeah. you, you might have been stuck at Quantico mm -hmm. driving buses. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you don't know what the real yeah. Marine Corps is like. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to hit a shout out shout, to the trolls. Good old man. shout out to the trolls, Shout out man. to the trolls, Y'all stay on my page, man. Please, dumb stuff. <laughs> please, man. I'll be trying to be respectful as possible, man, because I don't think they won't. Yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't want to see Corporal Kennedy because Sergeant Kennedy was dope. A lot of them jokers be deflecting their own insecurities yeah. and their own um, the, whatever they got going on in their life that's bad and things that they hated about themselves and the military themselves. So I, I don't even pay no attention no more. I just as soon as I see it, I delete it and block it yep. in, and that's the bottom line. Right. So. Facts. And that go y'all three minutes of fame right there. We yep. gave y'all three minutes of fame for the <laughs> there trolls. You go. Yeah, man. Let's get back to it. Um, I have, I got a lot of questions, man, because it's it's so much that goes on in this event. How long does it take you to prep one of these events? Man, it take uh to prep well to well prepare for it uh, at least about a month and a half, like at least. You know what I mean? But uh, like right now, man, I'm already looking for a place for the next one. So I'm going to start trying to prep even earlier because I know every time it gets bigger, it's going to require more prep. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But this last one was about almost about two months. Yeah. And uh, we was able to get everything together that we needed. Um, you know, I reached out to a couple of people like you and um, a couple of other folks to kind of help with certain things. And, and it, came, it all came together just, just like I expected it to. So... Usually about two months is, is probably a good time frame to yeah. get everything together. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So two months. I know this next one probably gonna take more than that, or it might be two months because it's it's a uh, it's I ain't gonna say it's an easy transition, but you got a lot of help. Yeah. At the the touch of a button, yeah, um, a text man. message or a call. Yeah. Um, what do you look forward to next time? Like, is it something that you you might have missed or you wanted to do in, the, in when bosses meet three? Oh, um, doing four. So we send out. Remember in the Marine Corps, we had the uh, what was they like heart reports or something uh, like that. The, uh, the, the, the jump that um used to tell you the Earths. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. so after this event, we sent out. Uh, yeah, we sent out a, a um kind of like a questionnaire of things that we can improve and, and things of that nature. And I read through a couple of them already. Uh, and some of them I was already thinking of. Uh, one, for instance, one thing that I'm looking forward to seeing next time is uh, more time. I think me and you talked about that. Um, getting more time w within the space. So I think this one was like, what, six hours? Six hours. But so it I, felt like two. Yeah, it felt like two because it'd yeah. be so fun. Time yeah. fly when you're having fun. When you're having fun, man. <laughs> But um, I think I want to shoot for eight hours instead of six, maybe, and maybe even ten. Uh, but I think eight hours is probably going to be the sweet sweet spot. So I'm looking to have a little bit more time so everybody can be a little bit more comfortable and not yeah. rush as much, mm -hmm. uh, even though it wasn't really rushing. But, 
you kind of feel that way, especially I probably more so me. Yeah. Uh, just trying to get everybody captured. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, time is definitely something that I'm looking forward to. Oh, I'm also looking forward to a bigger space. Yeah. Uh, I want I want it to be a little bit bigger than what we had because I know more people are going to want to come. They already been DMing me asking. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm looking for more creativity. So yeah. this time, we if y'all don't know, we did a hundred years of fashion. So uh, every model I created a mood board for, um, but just to kind of set the tone for what they're going to be wearing. Like some models had 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. Yeah, so on and so forth. So, and seeing what all these models came up with, some of them had like five outfits. I was blown away. Yeah. So this time I kind of want to get even more creative. You know what I'm saying? Kind of dig into some creativity and, and, and see how how crazy we can get with the creativity. So those those are the main things that I'm kind of looking forward to on the next one. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing how many more people now are going to be interested in coming. Because, you know, it's hard. Like I said in the beginning, like it's hard getting people to believe in what you got going. Right. Especially the people that's already got motion mm-hmm. in different industries. You know what I'm saying? Like, um I used to get upset that, you know, you reach out to some people and they just like kind of don't pay you no attention. But then I had to realize that you have to work harder, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to be able to catch people's attention, right. especially if they way above you. Yeah. Like they, they don't want to go backwards, you know what I'm saying? Right. So and when I get up to a certain status, like I don't want to go backwards. Like I want to keep pushing forward and keep growing my own self. So. Yeah. I just feel I got to work harder and stuff to kind of create um, a better platform so more people could come. So I'm looking forward to a lot more people coming um, and a lot more experienced like uh, models and males. Like I'm definitely want to get some more males in the building. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to having some more guys there and, and showing their style and creativity also. So. Yeah, and that's another thing too, man. Men, men. You know they try to act too cool. Bro. Stop acting too cool, <laughs> they try bro. To act like too cool, stop dog. acting too cool. Because <laughs> when y'all see these cool. portraits that these these photographers and videographers are coming up with. And the post get out there, y'all be like, bruh. Yeah, why, you why ain't, you ain't tell me? Why you ain't tell me? <laughs> bruh, why you ain't? I said, look, man. Nah, y'all be seeing it. Y'all, y'all be see trying it. to act too cool. He man. posts more than me now. And yeah. I used to be the social media guy. Yeah. He's the social media guy now. So he posts <laughs> way more than me. And I know y'all see it. Because when he posted, 99% of the time, I repost it. So it's like. We telling y'all. Yeah, you got to come out, you man. Just gotta, you just got to come out, man. And... and, and Whatever, whatever the theme is, if there's a theme each time, which is dope, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it'll be a theme every yeah, time. Yeah, just, bro, just follow the theme. Yeah. Because whatever you do, follow it to the T. Be creative, though. Do your own little twist to it, mm-hmm. and then, boom, you in there. Now you can network with whoever, male, females, and all of that. And I'm like, bro, stop trying to be, stop trying trying to be, be cool. To be and cool. another thing. These events are booked out two, two months in advance, right? All they got to do is cancel whatever you got going on for that day. Because a lot of times, some some um, models get there late. And I understand life be life. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got families. But if you plan ahead of time. Then you'll be good. You'll be good because I'm telling you that six hours. I got there at three and was like, JJ was like, "Tweez, we got like 15 minutes to to, to close up." <laughs> I said, "15 minutes, <laughs> bro, we just got here." <laughs> but I'm telling you, that time flies by. Yeah, it flies by fast. You, once you get there, you ain't got to rush. If you get there on time, you don't have to rush. You throw in your outfits every 30 minutes or or yeah, whatever. You can switch to the next outfit and keep it keep it going but the dope part i like about it too is not only are you getting photos mm-hmm. you're getting 
you getting videos, you getting uh, man, reels, uh, everything, man. reels, you getting um, business photos, yeah. you getting your your, your portraits, your portraits, you getting your portfolio up, yeah, like, you gotta, shots, yeah, everything. and and these themes are getting crazy, like yeah. from I think nineteen twenties to not the two thousands. Yeah, nah, it was it was nineteen hundred all the way to two thousand and thirty. Because remember we had the the future, the, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she yeah, 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 she I had 2030, man. She did good, too. Yeah, I see. So it was it's pretty cool. Like, it's fire. Yeah. And then they changed colors. Yep, they did. <laughs> well, I was, I was yeah, already I doing the podcast. I look like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, this straight super dope, man. Oh, um, that's something at the next one, too, that I want to do. Um, I want to wrote. Uh, that's another reason why I wanted to kind of do the eight hours. So uh, instead of the photographers moving around so much i want them to kind of have their own room their own section and then like every hour and a half photographers switch Rotate. rooms yeah and then that way we can keep a smoother rotation like, of the like models just going through yeah, yeah you know what i mean yeah. and that way everybody get to shoot in a different area of the house because mm -hmm. even as a photographer you don't want the same shots in the same room at an event like that right because the whole home was so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you so, fall in love with one spot and just want to sit there. Yeah, and then you forget. Then after the event, you like, oh, man, that was there, that was there. Like, so, like, yeah, I, I, literally, about I went up to upstairs and I seen just that rear room. I didn't even see all the other rooms because yeah. soon as I got there, I got the setting up and I was just vibing, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, at yeah. least... That's a great idea is to, 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 to make a circuit, yeah, you know what I mean? Up. And have like a little buzzer or something to go off so everybody know. Boom. Yeah. Switch. That's a good idea. You know what I mean? Have like that little buzzer. I'm going to have a crazy. That's going to be like, switch! Yeah, an like air horn or something. <laughs> <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> What's that joint? Get that joint in there. <laughs> Straight. Get that air horn in there. But yeah, man. Um, bro, I'm so proud of you, man. Thank um, you, brother. It's nothing like having like a, a, a brother that like been doing it. 20 years yeah, we're 20 years in Crazy. 20 plus now because it's past january yeah, that's wild. And, and, and just keep striving to be great yeah and we, we uh we got something dope man all all around got yes, something sir. dope the the, the the drink moving smooth no negativity mm -hmm. um great man the vibes is just crazy man yeah the vibes is crazy um and uh yeah man i think me personally, I told I don't know if I told Diana this or JJ or or uh or Rob during the podcast. I I think this joint is about to really take off to where it's gonna be not just in the DMV. Yeah, that job kind of got me a little nervous for real because the the, yeah. the, the, the messages saying, I've been receiving Dallas. and stuff is great. I even had a couple people from different states was like, bro, you need to bring that job over here. Somebody like, just messaged me the other day. It was like, you need to come to North Carolina. You need to come to Florida right. and do one. And I was like, man, I ain't never even think of that. That's Tara. Shout out to Tara, too. Tara, I know she was supposed to come. Tara came all the way up from North Carolina. She shoot. was coming again. Yeah. And, uh, but she... Eight months pregnant, yeah. and I think she's going. I think she's. Uh, I hope she don't mind me saying, but I think she's getting induced this week, yeah. and she's about to have her kid. Yeah. But she, she almost made it, man. But the doctor told yeah. her that. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, and then uh, Jameson, yeah. she she came from uh, all, all the way from North Carolina. Um, um, who else? Um, um, dang, Miriam. Miriam yep. came from yeah, North Carolina. Carolina. You know what yep. I'm saying? So, and that was, that was crazy. one of my cool leaves, bro. Yeah, you know what? I, I forgot, forgot about that. And then when she got, got there, uh, y'all started, started talking. I was like, oh, I forgot y'all knew yeah, each other, man. That was one of my Small cool leaves, man. I tell people all the time, man, like, the, the, the way you treat people is going to always come back to you. Good yeah, or bad, full circle, and, yeah. and it's it's always been good vibes, man. Because I always took care of the Marines when I was in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even civilians, like I don't look at you differently. I just know y'all got a different, y'all operate differently. Right. So yeah, man. Um, just seeing that, man, I was like, yo, like I ain't seen you since boot camp. I mean, since, crazy. I mean, since you left, for boot camp. <laughs> I might have dropped her off at <laughs> in Brooklyn. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy, man. Her and her brother. Because <laughs> her brother, wild. her brother joined first. And it was just like, See, man, I didn't even know that. Yeah, her brother joined first. He was, he was in the wing. Um, and then she joined. 
like right, right after, like I think they like two, three years apart. You know what I'm saying? Wild. It was crazy, man. But they were they was committed. So it's like seeing that the drill instructors, recruiters, you know what I mean, officers, everybody's in one space and they all operating like we supposed to. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, that's the dope part about it, man. But always, man, always, always, I appreciate you, bro. You like gave me the opportunity like to to show the podcast to everybody. Gave me more followers. That joint ended up being a, a nah, pilot. Yeah, yeah, they really, like they, they love that joint. Everybody was trying was, to get on the on I the knew it was going to be good, but that's the, see, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's why a lot of people got to step out and get yeah. outside your comfort zone sometimes because you never know when, when something's going to shake. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I knew it was going to be good. But when I started seeing like how excited people was to sit down and have a conversation on, on the podcast, I was like, bro, that is incredible, man. So yeah, that, man. That, that was super dope to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So don't miss the next one. Nah. When bosses meet four, just stay tuned. Nah. We it's gonna be crazy. We're yep. gonna have the food vendor, we're gonna have the videographers, the photographers, myself. Uh, last time, I think it was the first time I was DJing. Yeah. You know, I, I'm always doing something. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think I don't think, think we can change it from the mimosas. Nah, I think oh, yeah, I think it's gotta be mimosas, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's the, the bottomless. The bottom. The I think I think mimosas. it's gotta be the same man, thing. That's, every that's time. what starts. The, that's what starts to turn up, man. Everybody get comfortable. Yep. I know some people might need a drink to get yeah. comfortable. It's there. Which I noticed. Yeah. I noticed a yep. couple of the a people of was like, Can I have a drink? I was like, Man, go right ahead yeah, and they you. and they kinda get the edge off a little bit. Yeah. So that was that was cool, but they'll be there. Yeah. That's gonna be the signature right there, the bottom of this one. Yeah. We can't change it. We don't need none of that uh what's that juice y'all was drinking in Detroit? Oh that jungle juice. <laughs> yeah. We ain't drinking that. No sir. <laughs> No, sir. Well, no, no. <laughs> nothing will get done in that drink. <laughs> nothing at all. Yep. Looking crazy. Yeah, we ain't bringing that juice. Right. We ain't going to call that the slizzard thing. Nah. Man. We ain't doing that thing. No, sir. At all, man. But like always, man, I appreciate I appreciate you, bro. Um, this is Relationships Worth More Than Money. That's to my right. left is Kadeem, the boss of all bosses. Yes, uh, shot by the boss. And uh, like that, man, we out. Relationships worth more than money. That's dope. It's a wrap. Bang. That's perfect.